YouTubers, big or small, can agree on this. The thumbnail is probably one of the most important things for a YouTube video. And I'm pretty sure that most of us Chromebook YouTubers can agree on this. A Chromebook is pretty different from a Windows computer or a Mac computer. I've seen a lot of how to make good thumbnail tutorials and most of them are in Windows or Mac. And they're usually on a program that uh, that requires a .exe file, something that the Chromebook does not do. And I will admit, it, 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 it can be frustrating at times, but that's what makes us Chromies cool. We find different ways. And yeah. Now I will admit, Google is improving with this restrictiveness each update. I will say that. If I had to compare my thoughts on a Chromebook a year ago and now, my thoughts are completely different. I actually respect the Chromebook more than I did a year ago when I first got it. But this video is not about talking about the goods and the bads about a Chromebook and my opinion about a Chromebook. This video is going to be about how to make a good thumbnail on a Chromebook. I give you some good thumbnail tips that I've just learned over the past few days that I've been practicing thumbnails and have done thumbnails. But before we actually start, I, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Nicole. Welcome to Nicole Topics. And here are my social medias. <laughs> Let's start. So, when we make a thumbnail, in a Chromebook, we don't have to download anything for this. Instead, we are going to the search bar and type up sketchpad.io. And here it is loading. Doesn't take that long. Here, okay. And. As you see, it looks pretty simple, looks pretty really basic actually. Looks really different from those advanced soft Photoshop softwares, art softwares like Krita or Photoshop from Adobe. But yeah, this is a pretty simple thing. And you don't have to pay for this thing at all, it's completely free. But yeah, what we want to do first is click the plus sign which says new. You click it, make sure it's, you click on blank, and we'd want to adjust the size to the thumbnail size, which is 1280 and 720, and we'll click create. Then we'll have to click on this magnifying glass, which is the zoom. You can either use this, or you can use your mouse scroll, either will work fine. And what we'd want to work on first is if you have any photos of yourself or any photos you want to add in this thumbnail now is the time to start editing them but before we actually do that we want to go to this calligraphy thing and click this and right here you'll get all of these choices you got fur spray spray paint all the fancy stuff what we want to do is click on the eraser, set it up to its biggest size, and what we'll do is erase the background to a transparent looking thing. So that way you won't have a white background, it's going to be easier to edit, trust me guys. Okay, so now we'll click back on clip art. Now I'm going to make a thumbnail for this video. <laughs> Interesting, right? So, I'm going to find a photo of me. And here is me. Don't I look fabulous? This background right now is ugly. It's gonna look nice in a different background. And it's gonna match with another upcoming things I would put in. So we're still gonna be in clip art. We just put load your images up. Right now we're gonna go back to eraser, put the size a little bit smaller, and we're gonna start erasing what you wanna be erased. I'm gonna erase the background and don't do this too fast. You can do this Take your time with this because this is something that you want nice to look nice and look as perfect as possible. You can even adjust your size a little bit. You even put your blur all the way down if you want something more accurate, but I think this is good enough. Yeah, you want.
want to keep on erasing and erasing. If you have a straight line, try to erase it, make it a little less straight to make it look a little more, a little more realistic, a little more interesting, I guess, if that's the right word to say it. If you made a mistake like I just did, there is a little error that says undo, so you can just click undo and you can just do it all over again, you know? This looks erased enough. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm going to click export. And I usually do .png because that's my prefer my preference. And yeah, I'm gonna save this for now. Now we're gonna click on new again, click blank, make sure it's the same size for the thumbnail. So that way we don't have to change it later when we're actually making it. Zoom it out a little bit. Put, click select and you can scroll a little bit, you know. Maybe zoom it up again a little bit. You know, get that perfect angle. And yeah. When the, I want, in my thumbnail, I want to have me like with a Chromebook, like me in a Chromebook. Like a good thing with a thumbnail is to keep it as simple as possible. I just found that out right now. To have a, a simple thumbnail is probably the best thumbnail right now. So. Maybe having one or two things is pretty good. Make sure your thumbnail is not looking that busy. But, yeah. Right, so I'm gonna search a Chromebook. Give me any Chromebook. Ooh, what should I click images? Mm, this is, looks like a very nice angle. I'm gonna save that image. Click enter, exit that out, and what I'm going to do is erase every single thing again in this. I'm going to go back to clip art, load an, my own image, click the new Chromebook that I just put in, and yeah, it looks pretty nice. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that way it's not that hard to erase the background has and that's another thing that I want to suggest like it's nice to use these things to zoom in or out because then it won't distort the the photo as much if you use these controls only use these controls just a little bit but these are the best bets of not distorting the image so severely but yeah we're gonna go back to the eraser you know Put the size a little bit down. Oh, that's really small. Put it a little bit bigger. Ooh, I made a mistake there. And I want to start erasing and erasing and erasing. Pretty good. 
So what I'm gonna do now is export it again. Make sure it's officially saved. Right here. That's that's what it looks like when it's saved. Eh, and it looks pretty good. Now what we're gonna do next, click new again, make sure it's the same. Click create, same old, same old. Zoom in a little, zoom out a little bit. <laughs> And now we're gonna look for a very nice background for this thing. Well, for this, you don't have to erase everything because a background will replace this. So what we're gonna do is find a nice background. What I like to do is search up something simple like nice wall. Wall. Paper. We have a lot of nice selections here. And if you don't find anything in here, you can always just search up other types of keywords like simple wallpaper is also a good thing to search if you want to go a little more simpler like I want to. Okay, once you find your wallpaper, you want to right click, click save image as, save it, go back to sketchpad, and whatever you do, do not click open, click, because if you click open and then like you click your thing, you click the picture, it's going to open for sure, but it's going to mess up your size you wanted originally. So what we're going to do is click, click up clip art, again, we're going to click our nice wallpaper make sure you're on that arrow and we're going to do is click on that and stretch it stretch it to a nice size that looks like an appropriate size that looks snazzy then we're gonna load some of our photos that we just cropped a little bit so we're gonna put the Chromebook out first put it right here in the size for now side for now <laughs> I'm messing up here I'm gonna click load another clip art. Load this thing. Look at this. See, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna be bigger in this shot. So that looks good. So yeah, you can just keep on clicking, adjusting, clicking on some more, adjust more. say you want to add some text you can just click text you can pick your font um you want to pick a nice font that's easily readable but also not too much you know like that kind of looks like a little too much we'd want a good like poppins is a nice font to use for this one so you just have to click on that and load you can just click anywhere in this and you can start typing like how to make a thumb thumbnail on Chrome book. And that is pretty convincing. And we can click enter, you know, make it a little more, more little more nicer. Click on this. And we'll click on the arrow. And we can we're allowed to move this anywhere. I wonder what it'll look like if I put it in the computer. And these is what it's gonna make. It's gonna like it's like the size adjuster. So you can just put this here. And if you want to change its color, because this is a horrible color for the Chromebook, as soon as we're clicking on text, we're able to change color. So if you want it red, it's red. If you want it yellow, it's yellow. I'm gonna stick with yellow, but white would also look nice light colors can be nice for a thumbnail guys like yeah here is my thumbnail 
And after you're done making the thumbnail, you can click export PNG and it will just automatically save for me. And yeah, guys, that is how you make a thumbnail. If you want to look at it, you can just go to your files, go to your recent, click enter on this. And yeah, there is your thumbnail, guys. So, yeah, that is how you make a nice, good-looking thumbnail on the Chromebook. It might not look good at first. Like, I will say that all my, even now, my thumbnails kind of look like crap. But it's slowly improving each time, so practice makes perfect, you know? But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more of me or more videos like this, you can comment that down below and even subscribe because why not? It's good to take some risk in life. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.